Even today, the Kasbah in Algiers evokes the spirit of a 16th century port that for so long greeted European voyagers and explorers heading to Africa. But over the centuries, war and natural disasters have taken their toll. Even though it was classified a historical monument by UNESCO over 10 years ago, the Kasbah, which means citadel in Arabic, is still under serious threat. Built on a hillside that rises up 118 meters, only a thousand of the Kasbah's original homes are still standing. This is a site that is degraded. You can see how it is sloped, how all the houses, each one leans on the other. This is important because when a house falls, well, the rest could follow. Even the fragile scaffolding, wood trusses and metal beams holding the buildings together threaten to collapse on the city's 52,000 inhabitants. Residents are often relocated by the state, but despite the risks, new tenants move right into the vacated homes. Living here is a means to get money from social housing. It's a real racket. Living in the Kasbah means you can get funds to be moved elsewhere, and then can just come back and live here again. The government recently announced a project to renovate parts of the Kasbah by purchasing vacated buildings or giving funds to residents who want to restore them. Nasreddin Mezian has been restoring the home he inherited from his parents for the last six months with the help of public money. I'm just a simple worker. To be honest, not me, not anyone can take this on on their own because it's such a large undertaking. I don't have the money to take something like this on. Renovating the Kasbah's buildings is just the first step. The authorities also hope to revive the traditional handicrafts and the arts and culture that once thrived here. <laughs>